Hey guys, welcome to week seven, and week seven is on yin yoga. Now, yin yoga is a lot slower pace than vinyasa and hatha, so be prepared to feel, you know, relaxed. Uh, you might get uncomfortable in the poses because they're a lot longer holds, so generally they're anywhere from three to five minutes. We'll have a couple of transition poses in there that will be you know, just a couple of breath or a minute's worth as well. But most poses will be quite long. It will feel amazing. It's really good for increasing your flexibility quite quickly if you do it regularly. Um, yeah, so it's yin and yang. So yin is feminine, yang is uh, masculine. And we're gonna stick toward that feminine side today. So I hope you enjoy and let's begin. So find yourself in a seated position however you like and make sure you've got anything handy that you need such as your eye pillow, uh, your blanket, anything like that, essential oil as well, okay? And let's close off the eyes. Take a big breath in, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Remembering our five second inhale through the nose. And our five second exhale through the nose. Having a little pause on each end. Continue that long breath for a few moments. Let's take one more breath cycle here. Free to open the eyes. We're gonna stretch as we normally do first. Let's inhale, take a big wide reach up high. Exhale, twist to your right hand side. Lean over that shoulder. So find yourself comfortably in this twist. Know that our comfort level, remember, wants to be no more than five out of ten. So ten being painful, extremely painful, and five being uncomfortable but you're able to breathe comfortably through it. So if you're clenching through your eyebrows, your jaw, shrugging the shoulders, anything like that, you're too deep in the pose. So find comfort in this slight uncomfortable. I'm gonna come into uh, our other side now. So let's inhale, take a big wide reach. And exhale to your left. Noticing if the shoulders are shrugging, just drop them down. Long posture, long breath. Continue to gaze over that shoulder as well, getting stretched through the entire spine. Let's take another long breath. And exhale it out. When you're ready, inhale. Unwind, take a nice big reach. Exhale, lean over to your right side, plant the hand quite a distance from you so you can drop the elbow nice and low. Whether it's touching or hovering, find your position. Gazing forwards or upwards. Really good stretch for the side of the body. One more breath here. It's quite hard to breathe deeply in this one. Let's inhale, fly it up high with both arms. Exhale over to the left.
one more breath here. Let's inhale, rise up, reach both hands tall. Exhale them down through heart center. Wonderful. Okay, now all we're gonna do is stretch out your right leg and keep your left leg there. So you actually want the foot to align with the inner thigh. So from there, we're gonna open out our wingspan, our arms and then twist to your bent knee. So your chest is gonna to face towards that right, I'm sorry, your left knee, I'm <laughs> mirroring me. We're gonna ground through that right hand onto the right leg. Your left arm is gonna then reach over. And as you reach over, you're folding through the side of your body. So we're not folding forwards. Keep the rib cage open. So you're gonna get a really good stretch through that uh, quadratus lumborium, it's called, through your back muscle reaching for the foot if you can whether it's your peace fingers or your whole hand totally up to you now your neck is probably going to get a little sore if you're prone to that as it is so feel free to just look down towards that right leg and same with your upper arm as well your left arm if you get really tired here you just feel really uncomfortable just bring it back and rest it on the bent leg or somewhere in front of you but keep your shoulder open here, okay? So find your position, breathe through it. I'm gonna see if we can keep about three minutes here. But three minutes gives us plenty of time to sink into the pose. So remember to inhale length through the spine. And exhale, surrender into that leg. Please don't be alarmed with yourself. If you're quite high up, it just means you're really tight in this back muscle and you just need to do it a little bit more often. Remember, if that reaching arm's a little tired or shoulders are getting a little tight, we don't want to tighten anything trying to stretch so bring that hand to the knee or to the mat turn your gaze wherever feels good we're over halfway Stillness is one of the hardest things in yin yoga. So keep in mind that the more fidgety you are, it just means that your mind is busy and it's not enjoying slowing down and that takes practice and patience. So persist, <laughs> you know the three Ps that I mentioned. So just do your best as always. Let's just take one more breath here now. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. If your arm is reaching over your head, we're gonna sweep it on back, let it lead you back to a nice tall seated position. Roll the shoulders down. Okay, let's swap sides. So right leg, come, oh, sorry, left leg comes out, right leg bends in towards the inner thigh. Let's bring out those arms, inhale, reach them out wide. Exhale, twist towards your bent knee with the chest. Lean down over towards your straight leg, your left leg. And the right arm's gonna reach up and over. So reaching for the foot if you can reach that. Remember, hold it however you like, whether it's peace fingers or the whole foot. Keep the chest open so there's no folding here as much as you might want to. You're trying to get into the side body. So let's hold this here. You stay into this pose as long as you can. And you can regress at any time, which simply means maybe bringing that hand down or your gaze down. I love yin yoga. I love all of the styles I teach, but Yin yoga just really helps ground you, especially if you're feeling off. 
really good for making yourself feel flexible, especially on warmer days or in warmer rooms. Your muscles love to stretch when they're warm. under a minute to go. One more breath wherever you are. Now if your arm is reaching over your head, lead that arm up and back. Come up to a tall seated position for everyone. And let's come on over to tabletop. Great. So bring the toes to the back edge of your mat. And that just gives us plenty of room to reach. We're gonna come into puppy pose in a moment. So first of all, Untuck the toes, bring them to touch, and sit your hips onto the heels. First up, let's get into the inner thighs though for a wide kneeling child's pose. So bring the knees as wide as comfortable, keep the big toes touching, and we're gonna walk the arms out nice and long in front. Now, if this is too uncomfortable for you, you can bend through the elbows as we've done previously, stack the fists, and rest your head on your hands, or maybe even a prop if you have one. The prop can be a yoga block or a yoga bolster or even just a cushion. So let's sink into that pose then, finding some stillness and silence. And because we're holding this pose for quite a long time and it's a yin posture, you can actually rest the elbows down. So a lot of the time we have an active child's pose with the elbows lifted as I am. However, today you can rest them down, okay? Really notice that big stretch through the inner thighs. You can stay here for one more minute comfortably. <clears throat> One more breath here now. And push into the hands, lift the head, walk the hands back towards you. Nice and slowly, gently bring the knees closer together. Bring them about hip width apart here. I'm going to come up onto all fours and then reach both arms even further. So a couple of hand heights, so a couple of hand heights, but still shoulder width apart from uh, your, yeah, from yourself. <laughs> okay, 
fingers are spread out wide, energy fingers always. Now don't bring your hips over the knees though, so keep the hips back, then they'll probably come back a little bit as we drop the chest. So feel free to watch me first, but come with me if you feel ready to. So keep the arms straight, this time the elbows must stay lifted. Drop the chest down, elbows lifted guys, rest the forehead to the mat. So what we're doing is getting a big stretch through the upper back. Now I feel like I could go, no, that was a mouthful. I feel like I could go a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna reach my fingertips a little bit closer to the top of the mat. So just wriggle a bit closer. And that allows my chest to drop down a little bit more. Same goes for those who are really flexible. Drop your chin down to the mat. Avoid resting your cheek if you can. I know it might feel comfortable to rest your head like so, but we really need the forehead or chin rather, not the nose either. The more flexible you get, it will look like your elbows are down, but that's just the depth of your posture. won't be in this one for three minutes we're just going to be here for a, a few more breaths know that you can sink into child's pose if this one is too much at any time all right brace your core lift up bring the hands back a little bit closer we're going to come into downward dog briefly so tuck the toes lift the hips Maybe step it in a little bit, do what you gotta do. And we'll just pedal it out. Now this isn't part of yin, but I find it's always nice to add in a little downward dog in every practice. Great for the Achilles and the calves and hamstrings. Okay, find stillness. Inhale, rise onto the tippy toes. Hover over to your wrist, so we're coming into a high plank. We're gonna come into pigeon pose. So bring your right knee in, foot across, and drop your right knee behind the right wrist or thereabouts. Then we can drop the back knee down, as long as that foot's across the mat. Then we're gonna stretch that left leg out a little further behind. So just start off with guys, for those who um, practice with me often, you'll drop often want to drop down to your elbow straight away, but please stay up on the hands for now, even your spidey fingers if you like. So we're trying to open up through your left hip flexor here, okay? Right glute is getting all the stretch, or most of the stretch at least. Find your posture, find your breath. We will come down onto the elbows soon, just getting the most of this entire pose. Five second breath, guys. Close your eyes wherever you feel comfortable to. Make sure the hips stay square. So that means facing directly down to your mat, not leaning off to the side. And we're gonna come down onto the elbows now, if that feels comfortable for you too. So you can have your hands in prayer pose, maybe cross them, interlace them, whatever feels good. And you can stay here. If anyone wants to go any lower, by all means feel free to. You just gotta widen the elbows, rest the forehead to the mat. Or to your hands. Now if anyone has any sore knees or hip injuries or anything like that, follow these next cues. If you're comfortable where you are, please just ignore me and you stay where you're at. So for those who aren't quite comfortable here, come on up. Roll over onto your right hip and then lie on your back. 
So core strength, support yourself there. Cross your right ankle over that left knee. And first of all, push your right knee away from you. Your left hand can be anywhere by your side or your belly, wherever. If that's easy, you want to take it a bit deeper, hug the back of the thigh in or the top of the shin in. And that's going to keep it nice and intense, really. So right foot needs to be flexed if you're lying on your back. Stay here. For those who are in our prone position, so it means chest down or lying face down, we're going to stay here. And you can start to get a little flexion in your right foot as well. We'll be here for one more minute, guys, making it three minutes all up. Feel free to tuck the chin, rest the head, let it relax for those who are in this prone position. Those who are on their back, that's called a supine position. Take your last breath where you are. For those who are in your supine position on your back, stay on your back. Simply just uncross the legs and relax. Those who are in this prone position with me, come up onto the hands. Tuck your left toes under and start to lift that back knee. Feel free to step it straight back to downward facing dog for a moment. Do any movements that feel good and we're going to come to the other side. So when you're ready, either position, prone or supine, let's inhale, bring your left foot across and left knee down behind the right wrist for those who are in prone. So drop the right knee down, let the hips just take a moment to settle in. Oh, I'm feeling tight on this side. All right, so remember we're going to take about that first minute in this inclined position for those who are here. If you did do this on the other side, I do encourage you to jump into this one. All right, drop the shoulders down so we're not shrugging. We've got a nice, lovely posture. Maybe close up eyes and sink into the hips. Notice how that's feeling. Halfway through this one already. One more breath. For those who are in prone, drop down onto the elbows if that feels good for you. And we'll meet there. Everyone should be feeling this in your left side glute area. And relax as much as you comfortably can while your left glute area, your piriformis, is feeling slightly uncomfortable. Make peace with that feeling. So about two minutes all up here. Less than one minute to go.
last breath in through the nose for everyone. And out through the nose. Let's rise back up onto the hands for those in the prone position. And those who rely on their back in the supine position, you just stay on your back, uncross the legs though. We're going to roll over into a seated pose. So roll onto the left hip. You can help that right leg around if you need to. And find yourself in a straight legged position. So um, for those who are on the back, we're coming down to meet you. Let's brace through the core, ankles over the end of your mat, and exhale, roll all the way down until you're lying on your back. Great, once you're there, hug the knees into the chest. So with your knees in at your chest here now, we're gonna ground your left foot down to the mat and reach for your right ankle. So the foot's gonna to point towards the ceiling like so. If you can hold your foot, we're actually gonna reach the arm inside, but wrap your hand around the outer edge of the foot. All right, That's so. Make sure it's not on the outside or you're going to want to topple over. Keep the elbow on the inside. So this is called happy baby pose or half happy baby pose. Now your left arm can rest on your belly, by your side. You can reach it over your head even. Whatever you like with that one. Your left knee is still currently bent right now. Keep it there. So the intention of this one is to keep the knee close to the shoulder and we're gently drawing it down towards the mat. So rather than kicking towards the ceiling, pull it down. Hold that there. Now this is quite a uh, effortful pose, so we won't be here for too long, but it's a great stretch. Just a couple more breath here. You should really be feeling this one in the hip joint, maybe through the hamstrings. Notice where you feel it. Okay, release that right leg back to the mat. Both hands can come back to the belly and we're gonna swap sides. So bring the left knee in, reach for the left foot or ankle, whatever you can here. Try not to squash baby. <laughs> All right, left foot is reaching towards the ceiling, elbows on the inside, and we're gently pulling that knee down towards the mat. Right hand can be on your belly once again, maybe by your side or above you. Today it feels good for above my head. Your right knee can kind of compensate, it's kind of rolling me out just a little bit. We wanna have balance here, we don't wanna be fighting it too much. Less than a minute to go. Just a couple more breaths. that left foot back to the mat. Both hands can come back to your belly. Take a moment, gently rock the knees from side to side. It's a bit of a windscreen wiper motion. Feet can be about hip width apart or a little wider. Really good for the lower back, this one. All right. From here, we're going to cross your right leg snugly over the left. So what I often say, sit like a lady. Both arms are gonna come out into a straight arm position. Make sure you've got room. Okay, they can be a little bit lower if need be. So from here, keep your left foot close to the hip. Bring it nice and close. Brace your tummy. We're gonna roll both knees over to the left side. So take it with control please don't collapse over now if this is already too uncomfortable 
just straighten out your left leg and come into a regular spinal twist, all right? Otherwise, keep the legs snugly crossed. This is called twisted roots pose. So allow yourself to twist. Left hand option can bring it to the right leg there. Totally don't have to, but it might feel nice too. Really helping the hips open. You could potentially feel it in your glute or a bit higher in the back. You might feel a little bit lower in the glute slash hammy area. You might feel it just in the hips somewhere. Maybe in the chest even. Take note of where you feel it. Know that there's no right or wrong. We're gonna be here for a couple more minutes, so just enjoy. Settle in. Relax the jaw and the eyebrows. Let go of any unnecessary tension. Brace through the tummy. Use your feet and your tummy muscles to help twist yourself back onto the spine and cross the legs. And we'll go straight to the other side. So cross the left leg snugly over the right. Keep the foot close to the hips. Arms are still out wide. Control, brace the tummy. Roll the knees over to the right side. Remember, option to just straighten out that bottom right leg, that's fine. And look over to your left arm. Option to hold your right hand to that left leg if that feels good. Try and relax here, let go of effort. if your body is surrendering into the pose or resisting it. Hopefully by now it's starting to surrender.
And let's take one more breath now. Race through your core, push into your feet, roll back into the spine. And across the legs. Then you can bring the arms in. Where does how it's all going? All right. Now what we're going to do is widen your feet to the width of the mat and then roll the knees in together, so towards one another. And now if your knees don't touch, maybe bring the feet a little closer until they do. If you can easily do that, then feel free to go a bit wider here. So you're going to just hold this pose, tuck the shoulders down behind you, Make sure you've got a neutral spine so you're not pushing your back down, you're not lifting your back up. Just find that neutral posture and rest here. Over time, you might be able to widen the feet, so feel free to. What we're doing is giving the hips a bit more of an internal rotation rather than an external rotation, which we do quite a lot of external rotations in yoga, not so much internal. Take one more breath here now. And when you're ready, bring the feet, heel toe them together. And roll the knees out wide with the soles of the feet touching. So we're coming into a supine uh, lying butterfly basically. So the soles of the feet are together, they're close to the hips still. Depending how slippery your mat is, your feet might slide away and that's okay, just keep it there. Your arms are welcome to reach over your head and just relax them. If that doesn't feel good, bring them back anywhere you like. I'm going to be here for a few minutes, so let yourself relax. And let go of tension and tightness from within. Just a couple more breaths. Now if your arms are reaching over your head, just slide them back. Feel free to help the knees back up together with the help of your hands. So, Rounding the feet. 
hug the knees into the chest again. Rock it out, do what feels good here. All right, we're gonna come into one more pose, which is called plow pose. So from here, we are going to, uh, now this isn't gonna be suitable for everyone, and we'll just say this now. Now, first of all, we're gonna rock up into a seated pose. So feel free to just rock on up or ease your way up. First pose to suit everyone or anyone, interlace the fingers behind the back of your head, tuck the chin down round through the back, and that's gonna be your posture. Now, for those who wanna try this plow pose, join me. I'm just gonna shimmy my hips down so I don't do a back somersault off the mat. Pretty much so I stay in the camera lens for you. So, <clears throat> bring your legs out in front of you, roll it down. Now you're gonna get prepared to have your hands under your hips in a moment. So keep the elbows grounded, legs coming towards your chest, and you're just gonna practice rocking your hips up a couple of times. So my feet are kicking over towards my head. I'm just gonna help counterbalance, catch my hips, walk them up a little higher, keep your chin tucked in towards your chest, and you can just stay like this. If you want to take it a little further, you can straighten out the legs over your head. We're not going into shoulder stand, so we're not getting the legs up in the air, as in towards the ceiling. Try and keep them over your head. Knees can be bent here though. If your knees are in your face, widen them, find space there. So you come into this pose, if that feels okay, if that doesn't feel good, come on out and round through a seated cat pose. Let the elbows relax down. So I'm gonna do this seated cat pose. It's just a little bit too compression-y on my belly, the plow pose for a baby. So find your position. We're gonna be here for about one more minute. Really good stretch for the back and the neck for everyone. And through the entire spine, if we really let ourselves feel that. You know that those who are seated with me, we're rounding through the back. So there's no posture erection needed at all. We're just rounding down. Take one more breath, everyone. Let it out. Now for those who are in plow pose, I need you guys to very gently ease your way out with the hands sliding either side of the hips. For those who are seated, release the hands to the knees and come up into a tall posture position. Just stretch it out how it feels good. So we're all gonna meet on our back now. Stretch the legs out long if you're seated. Lying down. All right, guys, we are coming into our meditation now. So grab what you need, eye pillows, blankets, you know the drill. Let yourself get comfortable. And tuck the shoulder blades behind you once you're ready. Widen the feet to about the width of the mat. And just relax there. Take a few long breaths in through the nose. And side out. In through the nose. Side out. One more like so. And let it go. Let yourself be still. If your back's a little sensitive here today, you might like to bend the knees and just roll the knees in together. It might support your back a little more. However, hopefully it feels comfortable where you're at. I'm gonna lie here in silence now for a few minutes. 
soaking in that beautiful slow yin energy relaxing the jaw the eyebrows letting all effort go
sounds that you hear near and far. There's any warmth or cool sensations running through your body. to wriggle the fingers and the toes. Maybe taking a bigger breath. Rolling the ankles and the wrists. We're gonna take a nice big reach overhead with the arms. Bringing the feet close together, maybe point the toes, squeeze through every muscle and bring it back as we have the knees into the chest. Here we're going to roll off onto the side there, lay there for a few moments. Let's rise up to a seated position. Okay, let's reach for essential oil if you have one. I have a little bit of my lavender, grapefruit and ylang ylang mix today. Know that every essential oil has a purpose for uh, your body, mind, and soul. So if you feel like citrus one day, potentially means that you need a little bit of uplifting. If you like lavender, it's very calming and so forth. They all have benefits. So yeah, that's is a bit more of our aromatherapy, but we won't be covering that. <laughs> okay, so oil in hands if you have it. Let's bring our prayer pose together. We're going to take our three big breaths. When you're ready, inhale. Sigh it out. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in. 
Let it go. One more big breath, biggest one of your day. And release. Prayer pose. Resting the thumbs up at your third eye. With my thumbs at my third eye. My thoughts are pure and clear. With my thumbs to my lips. My speech is pure and clear. With my thumbs to my chest, my heart is pure and clear. Taking a moment of gratitude now. much for joining me here today i hope you feel wonderful and blissful as always i will see you again soon namaste